Yo, what's up guys? Today we are going to do something very, very different. We're going to actually learn a little bit about cricket because I don't know anything about cricket. And tomorrow we are reacting to... What are we reacting to tomorrow? Do you guys know? You should know. If you're here on the channel, we're reacting to MS Donny. Why? Because on my community tab, I... I asked you guys, um, what should I react to on Saturday? So tomorrow is Saturday. 10,000 people said MS Donny, the untold story. And because I don't know cricket, I'm going to learn a little bit about it before I watch the movie. And I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to go onto our Discord. The link is in the description. Let's go. is an old British sport. Very well played, sir. Cricket, of course, doesn't even Stephen have rules. Stephen Fry. laws, and that immediately strikes some people as pompous and self-regarding. Those laws were mostly written in 19th century London, at a pitch London. still considered the home of cricket, called Lords. Well, this is Lords, deeply rooted in tradition and in the ritual tradition brings. Yeah, God bless cricket. It has a tea break in the game. It's definitely a test of attrition. A lot of people can't get their mind around how do you stand out there for five days. But cricket has changed. There's a new form of the sport that's bringing in more money, fans, and a different style of play. It's funny. I don't know a lot about cricket, but I don't think England is the big team, is it? And it's funny how England, they, they invented cricket, they invented football, but... I don't think they are the biggest in, in the sports, you know. I mean, football, they've only won one major championship. One, I think. But I'm not here to talk about London or England, you know. But one thing hasn't changed. I know South Africa is big with cricket. India, of course. Sri Lanka. Pakistan. Who else? is New Zealand, maybe? Australia? Yeah. England, I think they're they're good, but I don't know. They're not the biggest. It's complicated. It is one of the most complicating sports on earth. It's, it's totally wiggly. It doesn't even follow any apparent obvious reason. That didn't put off the one billion people that were estimated to have watched a single cricket match wow. in 2015 between one, India and Pakistan. That's one, one billion. in seven humans. So wow. how did this confusing British game become one of the most popular sports on earth? Wow. And here's the England side coming into the field. Battle battle between a slice of willow and a round of leather. Yeah! West Indian skipper Brian Lara. What a great victory. Unbelievable season. This is certainly... That's Brazil. Does Brazil play, play cricket? How to play two cricket? Two teams of 11 play each other on a field shaped like an oval. The batting team has two players on the field at a time, on either end of the pitch. Okay. They're trying to score runs, while the fielding team is trying to get them out. So they on have 22 the pitch players. Is a wicket. The wicket is three stumps topped by two bales. A batsman stands in front of a wicket, trying to hit the ball delivered by a bowler from the other end of the pitch. Mm. If the batsman hits the ball, they score runs by exchanging positions with the other batsman. Oh. Each exchange equals one run. While they're running, the fielders try to get the ball and hit one of the wickets before a batsman gets there. If they don't make it before the like ball baseball. knocks the bales off the stumps, they're out, and a new batsman comes in. Okay. If the batsman hits the ball hard enough, they won't have to run. If they hit it to the boundary, it's worth four runs. And all the way over it's the boundary, home run. that's six. If a fielder catches the ball, the batsman is out. The ball okay, so this is not complicated. This is just like baseball, but baseball goes, you know, around. Cricket goes, you know, forward and backwards 
Bowler can also get a batsman out if their delivery hits the wicket, knocking the bales off the stumps. Okay. The yeah. batsman can choose not to swing or swing and miss the ball, and he won't get out as long as the wicket is safe. The bowler, however, can only bowl six deliveries at a time. Oh. That's called an over, and it's really important. Okay. After each over, a teammate takes their place. When 10 of the 11 batsmen are out, it's called an innings, and the other team bats. In traditional cricket, each team has two innings in a match, and the team with the most runs at the end wins. Okay. If they haven't finished after five days, the five umpire days. calls a draw. Technically, there are ten ways to get out. Five if you days? If someone to explain them, cricket can get very confusing very quickly. Leg before wicket, one of the ways someone can be out. And the nature of the umpire, the nature of uh, fielding positions, silly mid on, silly mid off, extra cover, third man. It's all very coded and peculiar cricket, I suppose. That's the problem. The British didn't just write the rules of cricket. They spread it around the world by taking it to their colonies in the 18th and 19th centuries. Okay, so you see that Brazil was not touched. <laughs> so we have the British, um, the United States. I don't know. I don't know if the United States is big in cricket. They, they're they mostly baseball. So, yeah. The British soldiers played it and, uh, and uh, the, the local people either took to it or didn't. In Canada, they didn't particularly, a bit cold. So they went for the ice hockey instead. But in the warmer countries, it seems obviously to have taken off. Even the United States played before baseball became the patriotic pastime. Okay. America decided cricket smacked of colonialism and therefore they were not going to play but in other colonies it makes sense i mean um they they kind of like stole cricket and created basketball kind of like that i know yeah i know how how it goes because the same thing happened to a lot of different sports in brazil Playing cricket was an opportunity to beat the colonizers at their own game. And the English began inviting teams to come test their skills against them in England. The competitions were called test matches, which is what the long form of the game continues to be called. Most okay. of the countries and the top countries that played the game has that little element of wanting to get back at the English. And the colonies got a new opportunity to do that starting in 1975 when cricket got a World Cup. Without the World oh, Cup, look. cricket would still be a gentlemanly agreement. Charles. Oh, oh, yeah, we're, we're free at that time of year. We'll come over. Whereas the World Cup gives everyone the chance to prove themselves. In order to play a tournament, matches needed to be shorter and end with a winner and a loser. So they played a one-day form of the game that limited the number of overs faced by each team. The first two World Cups were both won by the West Indies. My mother was jumping in the kitchen when the West Indies were winning. Did she care about the game that much? No. Did she understand the game that much? No. But cricket meant a lot to us as West Indians, and not just in the Caribbean. In the third World Cup, England didn't even make the finals. They had lost to India, a team playing against the West Indies after having won a single game in the first two World Cups. Wow. In the final, nobody gave India a chance. They were like interlopers. On the day of the match, the feeling was, who are these people? Why are they at Lords? Why isn't England at Lords? That's the thing with sports. Sports. With sports, you can you can take all your 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 anger out on, you know, like for example, have you ever been in a company match? You can you can you can do whatever you feel like, you know, and. Because, like, if you're playing against your boss, you kind of, like, have that feeling I have to beat him because, you know, he gives me such a hard time. And that's the thing about it. It's not only about the game. It's about, you know, proving something. And that's how sports gets a little bit of out of hand. But it's nice. It's nice. You know, it's competitive. But on the turf of their former colonizer and with odds of 66 to 1, India won. Nice. Oh. In 83 was for the first time Indians at home watch their team win abroad. That is crazy. Can you imagine that? This is a new India emerging. 
I mean, the economic prosperity of India came a decade later, but if you think that marked the moment when India was confident. That is nice. And we played like a winner throughout the game, throughout the series. Everybody fight, fight for their lives, and they said, we will do it. Trust me, I'm from Brazil, so I know how sports matters. Sports matters a lot. It matters. I mean, Brazil is five-time world champion in football. Brazil has one of the best volleyball teams, male and female. You know, we, we, we do very well in sports. So I know how it feels, you know, to have your team win the World Cup five times. <laughs> you know, to be the best in the world, to have something that we can say, we are the best in this. Although, you know, nowadays Brazil's football game is not as good as, you know, the good old days with Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, you know, um, or before that, Cafu, you know, or before that, Pele, yeah, you know, a lot of great players that you guys already know. But still, I know, I know the feeling. I, I really love sports as well, so I know the feeling. And I can imagine that cricket in India is the football of Brazil. 1983, that generation began to feel they didn't look to have a merit certificate from England to feel that they were good enough to compete in the world. India, for the first time, began to show that a country of that size, if it has prosperity, if it has television reach, it can play an enormous part in reshaping cricket, which it has done. Four years later, India hosted the first World Cup outside of England. Wow. And I just want to add as well, um, when I was in South Africa, I, I lived in South Africa for a few years. And when I was there, I saw South Africa win the Rugby World Cup. And that had a lot of meaning as well, you know, against England. That was the first time ever. And there's actually a, a movie called Invictus with Matt Damon and um, Morgan Freeman as Mandela and I was there I saw it live on TV I you know ha huh, that was nice there's an Indian word called tamasha which means fun excitement glamour tamasha uh, uncertainty all rolled into one and one day cricket became instant tamasha wow tamasha you just are amazed at something that was started on green turf for the site of an English church and, and you know, light applause and well played, good fellow. <laughs> British. Here comes this screaming religious ceremony. Pakistan win the World Cup, a magnificent performance in front of 87,000 people. Imran Khan has went inside. Brow wide on the crease and that goes for four. And the crowd loving every minute of it. Could be caught, is caught. Sachin Tendulkar celebrates. Political power then became that the World Cup was worth so much money and that India and Pakistan were bringing so much of that money that the sort of democratization of the game and it went from being England and Australia running the game to a more global thing. In England, domestic cricket was losing fans. So something was done to save the sport at home, but it would only accelerate the power shift to Asia. In the early 2000s, a British TV network paid for Stuart Robertson and his marketing team to research what the problem was. The key word that came out of that was cricket was inaccessible. It was a sport for the posh. Robertson had an idea, an even shorter form of cricket limited to just 20 overs for each team that would last three hours. Wow. Can you imagine cricket is for the posh? I have my tea. Oh, look, the ball is coming. <laughs> and we asked those people, if we introduced a game of cricket that lasted uh, less than three hours, would they come to see the game? And all of those people who were indexed as never having come to a cricket match before, they massively over-indexed in saying, yes, we would come to that. Wow, okay. They called the new format 2020, T20 for short. And I think I understand the whole process here. 
posh people have time to watch this sport. I'm a working man. I'm busy. I can't spend a whole day watching the sport. Make it three hours and, you know, I'll watch it. Then I'll have to work less, you know, and then I'll watch it. I think maybe that's the whole psychology behind this. And pitched it to the heads of English cricket at Pitched Lord's. it. We're arranged around this enormous table in alphabetical order. So it started with Derbyshire, then Durham, Essex, and it went all the way around to Yorkshire. You know, the 60-year-old uh, white males who had loved their traditional cricket, don't particularly like change. Then the vote went up, started counting the hands as quickly as I could, and we realized that it was 11-7 in favor. The next summer, nice. T20 made its debut in England. The guy on the PA system, at the start of the game, he said, welcome to the future of cricket. Nice. And it was amazing. It was a great statement. Welcome to the no, future no, of agree. cricket. I still remain, um, yeah, to be sold on the idea. I don't like the razzmatazz that's going to go with it. The rest of the world got their opportunity to judge the new format in 2005. We welcome the world into Eden Park, Auckland, New Zealand, the first ever 2020 international in the history of the game. New Zealand against Australia. It felt a little bit like they weren't taking it very seriously. And here they come. Cairns, look at Hamish Marshall in the background. Goodness me, what is he on? Or a lot, like they weren't taking it very seriously. They were all but drinking during the game. And that tells you how serious the game was. Oh, wow. Evans. They look like a, a psychedelic funk band from Chicago <laughs> from 1975. Psychedelic that reputation stuck, band. and when the format got its own World Cup, the advertising made it clear that T20 cricket was for... Party people! The ICC World T20 from 11 to 24 September is up their home! <laughs> India were like, this is stupid. We've already got one day cricket. We're is that South happy. Africa? We this other stupid thing. That sounds we're like a good. South African commercial. An English invention. India was had almost dragged into the uh, World Cup of 2007 in Johannesburg. They were, they were virtually dragged there. They sent over a young team. Lekker. That happened to be the best thing they could have done because a lot of the old players didn't really understand T20 cricket, whereas the young players kind of understood that you had to go as hard as you could. <laughs> Wow. Into, the crowd. That's into the crowd. Of all the teams that India were playing, it was Pakistan. They were going to lose to Pakistan in the final. And then Mizbah Al Haq, just as he's about to hit the winning runs, hits the ball straight up in the air. In the air, Shishan picks it. India win. From what I understand, if, if the rule is the guy catches the ball and you're out, so you only have two chances. You hit it high and far so that you can hit a home run or you hit it straight because if you hit it up it's easy to catch honestly so hit it straight and fast or hit it like a, a an oval shape you know like up and far but when you hit it up then that's that's not that's not gonna work. Or maybe hit hit the ground if you're too desperate. Hit it to the ground if you're desperate. Make it a fastball, and it will bounce up. But at least you won't be out. So if you, I don't know. But although baseball you can do that. Cricket, you kind of like hold the bat downwards vertically, right? From what I can see. So yeah. So I think the only chances you have is fast and high but never up never vertical that will make it easy for someone to catch johannesburg miracle and as a result of that india said oh this is t20 if if one day cricket was tamasha this was super tamasha uh, super tamasha in 2008 india launched a new t20 tournament called the indian premier league indian oh. premier league scene. in the first two years IPL. the ipl doubled in value I've seen many um, of you talk about IPL in Discord, and I was like, what is IPL? So it's the Indian Premier League. Okay, okay, okay. And in the decades since, it has developed a unique brand of cricket that combines entertainment with fast-paced action and attracts players from around the world. Now I found the man. Team owners include Bollywood stars like Preeti Zinta and Shah Rukh Khan, who take oh, an active SRK. role in promoting the league. India, cricket and film is a religion, and blending the two is quite a mix. It's quite exciting. Wow. With IPL, the 
I didn't know SRK had uh, a team. And Fritzy, I've seen her, but I can't remember what movie she stars in. Indians finally discovered a three-hour Bollywood movie, which is actually <laughs> live cricket. It is player number eight. Every season opens with the auction where celebrity owners bid for players. Again, I know I'm talking too much, but guys, why do you like three hours entertainment all the time? I'm watching um, movies from India and it's always three hours and I'm like, this is a bit too long. But then again, when I watch it, I don't feel like it's, it's dragging. I, I can watch it. But still, three hours for me is a long time. I need to work. But still, when I watch it, I am fully entertained and I don't feel like it's that long. But still, three hours out of my day i have a busy schedule honestly for me nowadays i prefer watching series because they are 40 minutes long i can watch one episode and if i have the time i can binge watch it but still three hour entertainment is a long time for someone who you know has a very busy schedule but still i love it and i appreciate it but i've never watched a, a cricket match um, i've seen it on tv sometimes but i've never watched a full match Teams also create their own anthems, like this one, promoting the Kolkata Knight Riders and featuring Bollywood star and team owner Shah Rukh Khan. We're too hot, too hot, we're too cool, too cool. I'm Kolkata. We rule. The Indian Premier okay. League version with this extraordinary made for television excitements and these wonderful sort of uh, routines and dances and oh. flames going up you guys have the halftime um, show uh, american um, what do you call them not the can can girls well, the american cheerleaders cricket has never had a can -can prime -time tv product that we can put on every night of the week and that is essentially what has turned t20 in from being a very good game for crowds to go to to being the number one thing in cricket there's no turning back if the sponsors are telling you this is where they want to put their funds and the spectators are coming through the gates and the TV rights are huge in T20 compared to other things and you gotta run with it. The number of international matches of one day cricket has declined over the last decade, while the number of international T20s has increased. Over a century after England introduced test cricket to the colonies, this new form of the game has spread outwards from India. The IPL is from 2008, so Come on, are you telling me that it's it's that young? It's 13 years old? Wow. India has given a model for other countries to follow. When the IPL was successful, all these other places went, well, we'll set up our own leagues and we'll try and be successful. The difference is that the money and the TV is just not as strong in some of those other places. So the BBL in Australia is a very successful league, just doesn't have a billion people willing to watch it. Now, it is IPL is where they earn the money. All the cricketers from this country want to go and play in IPL. When international wow. cricketers were asked if they would consider rejecting an opportunity to play for their country, if they were offered more money to play professional T20, half responded yes. People will develop an opinion that some players don't like playing for their country, they're just running the money down, but Sport is about money, you know, you, you have to make a living, you're a sports person. This is entertainment, and you can watch it every night, and there'll be an unfolding narrative, and that's what sport is at its best is. I've got no problem with that. Cri if cricket isn't trying to entertain people, I'm, I'm not really sure why we're playing it. The game has evolved. I mean, yeah. And again, entertainment is key. So even though I have a great appreciation for test cricket, and my career was spanned over the period when test cricket was strong, I still have an understanding of where the game has to go, where it has gone, and there's no turning back. And wherever the game goes, it won't be decided by British gentlemen sitting in a boardroom. Oh, the power of cricket has shifted from England to India. There's no question about it. While Lords is still seen as a home of cricket, that's a symbolic home of cricket. It's like seeing Rome as the great uh, um, capital of the world. That, that was a long time ago. Uh, you know, that is in history. The same thing goes with football. England is not the house of football anymore. Brazil still is the house of football because we're the only ones who have five World Cups. Although Germany, you know, they're coming strong. Italy, coming strong. Italy. Uh, 
Italy and Germany, they are, they are, uh, they are dangerous. But they're the only ones that can actually compete with um, Brazilian football history. But of course, okay, 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 okay. If you guys are from England, I'm going to give you the Premier League. You guys are, you know, the Premier League. Yeah, okay. But I'm talking about international football. But okay, the Premier League. Yeah, 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 yeah. Arsenal, Manchester, Manchester City, you know, Chelsea. All of these big guns. That's where the money is. And, you know, England. Okay, I'll give you that. You guys are still number one league in the world. Uh, no, no contest there. <laughs> but we do have um, Brasileirão, Copa do Brasil. We, ha we have all of these um, great championships in Brazil as well. And, you know, we have matches every Wednesday and Sunday, which, you know, are number one um, audience bringers and, and stuff like that. Although not many people watch um, Brazilian football. We normally watch, you know, I'm, I'm, all over the world, we watch England foot, uh, English football, Premier League, or European football, UEFA Champions League, you know. But still, but still, I'm talking about national <laughs> and international. Um, but anyways, we're not talking about football. We're talking about um, cricket here. Um, okay, so as I said, cricket, it is very... Uh, understandable it might be a complicated game but I understand the the rules of cricket a bit a little bit more than I did when I started this video this was a very nice um, recommendation thank you guys for sending me this and do you guys like cricket that's a stupid question of course you like cricket but let me know in the comments down below who do you support and don't worry tomorrow we're gonna have an epic movie reaction it's going to be MS Donnie, The Untold Story, as you guys requested, as voted. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. Call your friends because it's going to be epic tomorrow. And yeah, check my community tab. I will give you guys more information. But tomorrow, 8 a.m. London time, which is around 12 p.m. Is it 12 p.m. in India? 12 30 p.m i think so but come to the channel the best way for you to find my videos is to subscribe you know and like this video and join our discord we always have notifications on discord so join discord the link is in the description it's super fun send your 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 messages there and that's it for today i'm your host teacher paul and i'll see you tomorrow or you know here on the channel. Go watch my videos. I have many, 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 many videos. More than 460 videos on this channel. So enjoy. Bye-bye, guys. See you soon.